How are things, Man United fans? Welcome to another video on the channel where today we want to talk about Marcus Rashford and David De Gea and what's going on with extending their contracts. To kick things off, let's start with Marcus Rashford, who has shown incredible consistency in terms of his performance on and off the pitch. You might be wondering why Manchester United would want to extend his contract, and we'll discuss that first and foremost. He truly has been a key player, if not the most important player on the team. He was able to score two goals on Sunday match against Leicester City, and he was able to set a personal best for himself this season, which is absolutely remarkable. So considering the 24 goals and 8 assists he has set for himself this season, it's a no-brainer that Man United would want to extend his contract and go all out on him. Rashford's performance has been so impactful this season that even Mikel Arteta has expressed interest in adding the player to his arsenal. Rashford has been not only a fantastic player in Premier League this season, but also he has had a positive impact on the performance of the team in Europa League, case in point his performance against Barcelona, and he even has the chance to go above and beyond coming this Thursday for a match at Old Trafford against Barcelona again. Let's talk about how close Marcus Rashford actually is to signing a new contract at Man United. Eric Ten Hag recently talked about it and gave us some updates on his situation, and he said that extending Marcus Rashford's contract is definitely a priority for Manchester United. Speaking to Sky Sports ahead of Sunday's match against Leicester, Ten Hag was in relaxed form and he spoke with a lot of enthusiasm about Rashford, who is undoubtedly in the form of his life right now. Ten Hag also revealed that the club is working hard on renewing the forward's contract, which has 18 months left to run. He also mentioned that the player is really happy and his sense of happiness with where he is currently has had an influence on his brilliant performance as well. So considering everything that we have talked about, I would guess that he his renewal with the club is extremely likely probably at the end of the season. The more he can improve his performance, the better money of course he can earn from playing for Man United and since he has had the main goal scoring responsibility for Eric Ten Hag's team, I'm pretty sure that Man United club owners will do whatever they can to satisfy him since he's an asset you wouldn't want to lose to other teams such as Arsenal or even a team like Barcelona which clearly had negotiations with the player in the summer before this season of football kicked off. Now, as for the one and only David De Gea, whose performance during the match against Leicester made Ten Hag praise him, it is said that Manchester United is ready to hand David De Gea a new contract, which is worth £250,000 per week, which is significantly less than his current terms. The Red Devils are willing to offer a new agreement, but that would require the Spanish stopper to take a pay cut from his reported £375,000 a week salary. So talks of David De Gea signing a renewal were really hot in January, but nothing has progressed since. And as I just told you guys, the main issue in negotiations is whether the keeper will take a pay cut or not. There's also been some rumors that Eric Ten Hag is more interested in long-term options if it can be achieved through other goalkeepers, but I think it should be taken with a grain of salt because the way he was talking about David De Gea shows that Ten Hag has a great relationship with the goalkeeper and he's a more viable option currently for the club. All right, that's it people for everything we have got for you today in the channel. What do you guys think about the updates we've gathered for you guys regarding Rashford and David De Gea? Share your thoughts with us in the comment section and make sure to leave a like as well. It would really help us grow the channel. We really appreciate the time you guys have spent watching our videos and I'll talk to you guys in the upcoming videos. Take care.